that's one bag worth like this. I made friends with the maintenance engineer where I live and he saw me smelting aluminum cans and so far he's brought me four, including these two. It's raining. Putting space between them like this allows them to naturally air dry even though the air is at 100% humidity. So in grocery paper bags, that's about three bags worth, like that. All right, just to warn you, this section contains really loud audio of cans crushing. So if you're listening on headphones or earbuds or something, you might want to turn the sound down. I actually turned the sound down a little, but I find it deeply satisfying to watch this in first person. I've condensed it for you. These are beer labels that I removed from the can so they don't burn. Stuck them here too. Fremont Brewing in Seattle, my favorite brewery. Because beer matters, just like it says right there. Because beer matters. Three empty grocery paper bags worth of cans. Thank you, Sock. So that's the two bags. He even included a pie tin, which is sitting on top of a 2005 Prius battery there. So all said, that's two medium-sized plastic bags worth. Of so that's the two bags. He even included a pie tin, which is sitting on top of a 2005 Prius battery there. So all said, that's two medium-sized plastic bags worth of different beverage containers. That's exactly 124 cans plus two pie tins. If each can is around 14, 12 to 14 grams, that's quite a bit of aluminum. We'll get several bars of aluminum out of or smelting all of this. Some of these cans too contain fluid, beer, back spit, and so forth, and they were wet in the bag, so I put them out here on the causeway to dry out, even though it's raining.